Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Invite Only. I'm your host, Sean, a.k.a. That Kid Flowers. And today, we bring another episode where we got some nerdy news, some gossip, you know, a little bit of gospel. Uh, we really talk about everything under the video game sun, a little bit of entertainment, a little bit of anime here and there. Um, you can watch this show live every Monday at 7.30 p.m. over on twitch.tv forward slash PE Productions. But... If you missed the live episode, you can watch it on Tuesday over on YouTube.com for us as Play Everything and t- podcast services around the globe over at, on Tuesday at 10 a.m. <sighs> caught it. Almost had it. Caught it. I caught it. I nailed it. How you doing, Cheeks? Uh, actually, let me introduce you. Uh, <laughs> to the left, I got my uh, my co-host, Cheeks underscore Junior. What's up, players? Haven't hit you with one of those in a while, you know what I mean? Uh, that was for me? No, I mean, it's just everybody. That's just no, that your thing. thing. Yeah, I thought that was your thing. What's up, players? You know what I mean? Uh, What's going on, everybody? Now we got rid of that. Uh, I'm, uh, <laughs> I'm good. I'm in a great mood today. I see. Real energized. You ready for this, Adrian? We we fucking shoving fists everywhere. Hey, you it's, got two it's, mics hard on you. I'm, I'm ecstatic about it. You're ecstatic about it? Ecstatic? Ecstatic. Ecstatic? Ec- ec- Shut up. We didn't introduce you. Anyway, get it. I'm fantastic. <laughs> I'm having a good day. Having a good week. Yeah. Busy. Excited for the, what we're doing with the channel. We'll be taking it someplace. Yeah, about to blow to the moon, guys. Invest in us soon. To the moon. Actually, you can invest in us right now. Well, and you buy- can. Oh, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Oh, sorry. Oh. And you can invest <laughs> in us if you have Amazon Prime. That means you have Twitch Prime, which means you don't even have to really invest in us. You can have Amazon invest with us and give us your Twitch Prime sub. It's free every month. Uh, you can subscribe uh, to our Twitch channel through that so if you're watching on youtube or only listening on podcasts i appreciate you thank you even with those numbers please god subscribe there please god subscribe there please, please. but uh you can help us out monetarily and not have anything taken out of your pot- pockets so head over to that twitch page even if you don't watch us there uh and throw us that amazon prime sub it helps us out so much it will allow us to get more equipment and we just invest it back into the channel and uh, eventually uh, more content for you guys at the end of the day appreciate that and i got over in the producer chair i got Adrian, how you doing, man? Yo, what's up? How you doing? You, you good over there? I'm I'm super excited. We honestly got a really really good show today. That's um, like your thing. That's yeah. his thing. Yeah, good show every week. Yeah, you know show what? Today. Good show every day, <laughs> like every week. You know, um, we got some good news though. Um, <laughs> so yeah. All right. Okay. This should be Adrian's thing. This is gonna be a good show, and then he kind of gives like the quick brief of what we're gonna be talking mm. about. Nah, nah. Nah. But knowing Adrian, he'll talk too much. Yeah. Too long. Don't, don't, he'll don't give him too many it. lines. He'll run away. He'll go to the fucking set. Are those, those purple Doritos? What's uh, up, dog? You eating those purple Doritos? Let him eat it. No, no. I'm asking. Are those purple Doritos? How you, you want him to talk Hell with Hell yeah, doggy. Mom? Those are the best Doritos. You know what I mean? This guy. Best this Doritos. Guy. Purple Doritos game. Like you thought I was going to pound Damn. you up, huh? Too much energy going on. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just play it with you. Uh, drop it in the chat. Purple Doritos, best Doritos, yes or no? Let That's me know. funny as hell. So what's up? You guys been playing anything new? What's up with you guys this week? This week, you say you had a good week. Uh, you, you been doing anything new this week? Just Valheim, playing new games. What came out this week, Adrian? Uh, you got a new game? Nothing came out this week. Did you get into a new game this week? You still playing Valheim? Did you Did you get farther in Valheim? Still Valheim, as usual. Uh, I'm, I just beat the third boss. I'm really going hard in the mountains. I had to get my friend Connor. Don't know how I had to get it. him in there to go on a rescue mission because I died in the mountains. And I was really far. So then I had to sail all the way across the map, get my stuff, and then now we're good. You know what I mean? Um, sounds like a mission. I tried to download or do the upgrade for the Crash 4 uh, PS5 upgrade, but there were some issues when it came out, so I haven't tried it again. Hopefully they fix those. Issues as in, like, the game It wouldn't let you, up? like, upgrade it. Okay. Um, so we'll see with that. I might be jumping back into that on stream, trying to figure out a stream schedule with my new schedule. Okay. So uh, stay tuned there. And then also future game stuff. But not a lot of game stuff right now. Uh, Ratchet and Clank, I'm kind of just waiting for Ratchet and Clank at this point. That's your game for this year? Yeah, well, no. I mean, Valheim is my game for this year. No, I'm talking about, like, if you had a game you had you were anticipating this year, that would be the No, one. that's just the next closest. Okay. You know, the next one that, like, I'm looking forward to that we have a hard date for, um, it's going to be Ratchet and Clank. So I'm just kind of waiting around till then. Um and uh, waiting to see what else comes out. Maybe another Valheim pops up. You know what I mean? You never know. Woo! 
Ooh, you sound boring. Check this out. I've been playing Mortal Kombat, right? <laughs> Downloaded a new character, Rain. My old main from NK10, right? Brought him back from the dead. And he's honestly very hard to play. Very, very hard. Uh, so a little more MK. A um, little more into Destiny 2 as well. Um, <clears throat> it's getting good. I've been playing on mouse and keyboard. Uh, and I like playing mouse and keyboard more than I like playing on the PlayStation. It's kind of it's kind of weird because using mouse and keyboard, like I'm all over the place. But in Destiny, it's like it's kind of like holding my hand almost. Like it's kind of weird. Like how how easy the game is to play mouse and keyboard compared to a controller. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really falling in love with Destiny again for sure. For sure. Um, haven't played too much Apex, which is surprising for me. You know what I mean? I don't know what it is. I tried. I played Apex on the stream on Saturday, um, and then. I played like I think most of that stream, honestly, and it just it was fun, but I don't know. It felt different. It wasn't the same. It wasn't the same. It could have been this new mode they have, where like the fucking ring has an internal ring in it, and so it's like you have to watch out for two rings now or three rings. Exactly. The fuck. Yeah. I, so I get that. I that's get not that too bit. fun. So waiting for that to end, which I think is gonna happen pretty soon. I haven't. They checked got regular, in on rid of regular mode. Uh, so it's just like this little event thing they're doing. <clears throat> Excuse me. This little event thing they're doing um, from this character named Maggie, which I don't know if you remember, guys, uh, when I talked about in the first, there was like a, like a map thing they did in season one, or was it season one? It was maybe season five, season six, where they where you had to find pretty much the the character pieces for this head, and like it turned out to be like this statue. Well, that's Maggie. All right, jump to the conclusion. That's Maggie. So she was kind of taking over the map as like I guess their event thing. They're trying to introduce you to the lore a little bit more, uh, and so. <laughs> And that's <laughs> that's pretty much where Apex is, so I kind of leave that alone for a little bit. But who knows? Who knows what next week may bring? You didn't answer my question, goddamn! Oh, there was a question in there. What's your question? <laughs> are are you stuck playing that mode? There's no regular mode. Oh uh, yeah, so it's only that mode. Fuck that! I hate when games do that. Yeah, there's a, um no fill mode, so now if you want to, you can jump in and kind of solo get good. You know what's worse than that? What? When they introduce a new mode that you're like, I like this mode, and it's only like temporarily. Ah. Uh, and then you're like, fuck, I want to play that mode, and they just don't bring it back. They have modes like that for me, for me personally, but it's usually like around holidays. Like, there's like a little like Christmas mode they have, or like this train, you have to like defend this train type of thing, or like uh, there's like a mode where like everyone dies. Like, if your team's still alive, there's one person on your team still alive at the end of the ring, then everyone comes back. I like that. It's, I mean, those are kind of like anniversary type events, though. You know what? I, I did jump into a match of Rogue Company. Oh, did you? And man, I love that game. I just really enjoy that game. I and I just wish it was bigger, and you fucks out there should go play Rogue Company. Um, and then Stokey D said Destiny. He's like, what's up? Destiny, You've been yes, playing Destiny. sir. Been playing. You told me that, and I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. Why? Yeah. Poor K, locos dos. No, he hop he's actually, I started a new clan, uh, School Kids United, if you know, you know. Uh, and you know, Stokey D has been it, you know. Original clan vet, some would say. Um, but like again, if you know, you know. Uh, but yeah. That's kind of what I've been playing recently. Um, I've been thinking about playing Detroit Become Human still. Maybe a Control. I know that was free on the PlayStation Plus at one point. God of War. Oh, yeah, God of yeah, War. Yeah, you play God of War. Remember that, Aiden? You remember when he's like, I don't play God of War. And we were yeah, like, ah, he's not going to play God of War. Yeah, aren't you halfway through? Shut up. Shut the fuck up, Oh, he's going to replay Adrian. it. Shut up. He's going to replay God of War. You're going to replay it? With the PS5 upgrade. And you might be wondering, where's <laughs> Compa Andres? Yeah. You know? Where's he at? Because uh, he's not here. Oh, he's on vacation. Oh, wait. What day is it, Adrian? Today's Monday. No, today. you fucking... What day? Not day of the week. What day? Number. Oh, the 22nd. 22nd. Eight days left for this motherfucker. Oh, he was getting to the bet that Andres lost. Yeah. Beforehand. Oh, sorry. A little context break here at uh, uh, Invite Only. Yeah. If you're just joining us, not live on Twitch.tv forward slash PE Productions, P under PE underscore Productions. Me and Comp Andres, you don't know him because he's not here, but we made a little bet. He said he's going to beat Assassin's Creed by the end of the month. We bet that on like March 1st. It's March 22nd. Eight days left for that motherfucker to beat it. And he's on vacation. You know what I mean? He's like, I'm on chapter five out of 21. And he was all like, I got time. I got vacation, which is where is he at? Where's the thread? All I know is money and route. So, yeah, I, I mean, let, let's be honest. He has eight days. He, you know, he doesn't have days off this week because he took a long vacation. Yep. So he's just gonna be working. He's gonna get home. He's gonna like, oh, play Call of Duty. Second stimmy. Oh man, 
<laughs> what an idiot. Why would he bet me? Ah, uh, shit. Uh, so, with that, I guess, you want to get into some news? I want to get into some news, 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 news. Let's do oh, it. Oh, no. I mean, Stokey D me, also right? said he wants to run Rogue Company with me. You ready? Stokes is terrible I hope you're better, at any game that's hope not you're Call of Duty. Flowers. I'm just saying. Let that just be a thing. If you're not playing Call of Duty with Stokes, don't play with Stokes. <laughs> <clears throat> Let's get into some news, though. News, news, news. Uh, so, Marvel Avengers, which, Stokes, you might want to hop into. This might be your game. Uh, has seen a player of increase of about five times after the Hawkeye release. Five times. We getting back into it? Uh, <laughs> hold on. A boop, boop. Hot steak. Let's hold get on, on that Marvel Avengers. Read a little bit. Take it at ease. At ease. Uh, with the release of Hawkeye and Marvel's Avengers, only the second new hero after six months in the wake of the myriad of delays, Hawkeye has indeed brought players back to the game. There's actually a four to five time increase in players post-Hawkeye, though that comes with the caveat, Mikey. Let me break it down to you. The increase is a peak of about 500 to about 2,600 players daily. And you know, it's not bad. It's still low. It's still pretty low. Like, they even give context for about how Sorry, this how many? works a little Sorry, bit. Sorry, I was... He spaced out on me? Yeah, I don't know why. What? How How many? About 500 to 2,500 players are back into the game, like daily. Like, how many people jump back into the on game daily? On top of what was already there? Or on top of what were already there. people playing? Yes. Since the Hawkeye release, they have 500, 2,500 people, player, new players come back on the game. 500,000 or 500? 500. Five zeros that's or not, just two zeros? That's not... What? Just two zeros. And then they get around from 500 to 2,500. Crazy. Can't make these numbers up. Maybe they could. No, what? 500 is not a lot. It's not a lot. And is that on every platform or is that just uh, like So this is just really platform. just on Steam in specific. It doesn't count every platform. Oh, okay, That makes okay, sense. Okay, okay, okay. But Steam has probably the best way of tracking this information. Yeah, but who played that game on PC, really? I mean, was it a PC-oriented game? Uh, is any game a PC? I mean, there are games that are PC or right. but anything that's multi plat is. Yeah, I feel like PC would have probably a better orientation of the game than a console, right? I would think worse. Well, I mean, if it was released on both. Uh, look, my thing is, uh, for context, What's games game? of service uh, rivals, this is on the, the Steam tracker, uh, games established like Warframe and Destiny peaked at about 74,000 to 76,000, respectively. The last couple of days. So, I mean, look, the game is coming back, but very slow. Mikey, you still hopping into it? Look, <laughs> it's, it's intriguing. No, no, it is intriguing because it's like I do want to like. This could be a start of something new, though. Good. And I remember Adrian, he was saying as he munches down on those purple Drudos, he was saying that he when he gets a PS5, that's when he's going to get the game. Mm -hmm. Is that are you still are you going to get the game? Yep. I'm actually going to buy it tonight. I'm hearing that. Lying. <laughs> he just lied. The new compa, ladies and gentlemen. I will, as soon as I get home tonight, I will buy this game because. <laughs> the hard swallow on the Dritos. <laughs> that got him on the side. Uh, got caught mouth hella bad. Actually, I'm going to jump in tonight. Um, no, I'm, I'm, definitely gonna, I'm definitely going to buy this game. <laughs> I, maybe not tonight, but I definitely want to get back to So you to all into soon. Marvel Avengers just now? Post Hawkeye? 500 new players? you like, I'm in it. Well, no, I honestly I completely forgot about the game. I'm not going to lie. What do you I mean? mean? We talked about it last week. Did we? Yeah. I was like, what's going on? Marvel Avengers. How are they going to bring this game back? They start a new player progression system. Oh, well, yeah. That, I mean, it was, it, that was talking about its downfall. That really probably didn't motivate me to play it at all. So I kind of pushed that off to the side. But oh. I mean, the game, I mean, the game's kind of died ever since it came out, if you really think what's about it. What's the price of Marvel Avengers right now? For PS5? Uh, sure. Sure. I mean, look, two weeks ago, he wasn't in it. Two weeks later, he's like, post-Hawkeye. Everything changes once Hawkeye drops. So Which makes no sense to me. Least interesting character. Uh, they also announced a roadmap for this game. Yeah. So they have they plan Black, to revive this. We got Black Panther by the end of the year. And I think they can. Because think about it. Destiny, you're, playing, you're jumping in Destiny right yep. now. Yep. Like, I, you can absolutely revive this. I'm very excited about it and see uh, see kind of where it goes. And I do want to get back into it. Adrian's going to be jumping into it. I kind of want him to play the story, and I kind of want to jump in with him. Uh, we, we played a couple couple raids together on Marvel's Avengers. and I, I, I Is think, it a big game? I think game? it's the yeah. time. I think it's the time. I mean, in, in this roadmap, they're adding, uh, obviously, we already have Hawkeye, um, but then they're going to add more in-game content. Finally, uh, that's what everyone's been asking for. So we're going to get more 
Uh, I think they're called Tachyon Anomalies and Ultra Omega uh, Enemies. And uh, I think there's going to be more customization to, I think, what's called the Harm Room. So a little more things to make the game a little more integrated, more customizable, let you get really in there, make, make you feel like you're actually grinding for something and not just playing the game mindlessly. It uh, is. What? Sorry. I completely cut you off. Go ahead. How uh, much is the game? Thirty nine ninety nine. That's and that's retail physical price. Yep, that is, it's on sale for twenty dollars off. And I, the reason I didn't originally get it on the PS4 is because I was waiting for the PS5 version to come out. And I, it looks like the PS5 version is already out. It must have come out not too long ago. But I mean, I, like I said, I completely forgot about the game, so I'm pretty excited to get back into it or get into it. So, what character would you play? Um, <laughs> you don't know. Look, I'm just excited yeah, because be Adrian's tough. such a fucking <laughs> dork. With this shit, yeah. like yeah, this connects the fucking uh, uh, the. I duck. don't believe Adrian. Howard the Duck comic episode strip three. Adrian's um, a liar. So I'm I'm excited to see the the story because as you remember if you watch the show consistently, yeah. um, back when it came out, we, we played I, faithfully. We, yeah, we we played we were faithfully. Real players. Yeah, we were into it, and we I played through the story, and I loved the story. I thought it was an awesome Avengers story, which I'm surprised Compa didn't play it. Which was another game I beat, by the way, at the, because, the record stand. Yeah, there's a whole ton of um, after um, what is it called end game stuff that you can do, right? But it's all kind of the same. Yes. But it's like Destiny when it came out, right? Destiny didn't have a good story, nor did it have a good end game. At least Avengers had a great story and an all right end game. You know what I mean? Like, it wasn't the best end game, but it was, it, I, that's what it had going for it. So that's why I'm excited to just go in. And I mean, there was this character, and then who's the one that they added before this? Uh, Kate Bishop. Kate Bishop. Hawk of, Hawkeye's daughter. Huh? I, I don't know. Not daughter. The, um, the like, relation or the character. Here we go. Hold itself. on. Hold on. Let, uh, let's. Tap into our uh, Come on, nerds. Wikipedia. No, we have one right here. Come on, nerds. We have Who one right here. It's Kate Bishop. He, Hawkeye he, trains her. He's like her. What would you call she's that? Like the Artemis? To his green arrow? I okay. Don't, I don't okay. Know. Yeah, like that. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. And that's what actually, that's what the next show is going to be about. His show is going to be about him training Kate Bishop. Also, fucking why did they give us two Hawkeyes? Like, what that, do you mean? that's what excited people? Two Hawkeyes? <laughs> Oh, you were just so excited. Now you sound so disappointed. No, no, I'm excited to get back into it, but I'm not get excited to get back into it because Hawkeye. I'm excited to get back into it because there's something to play. Wait, what, what if, if these two players two feel Hawkeyes? different, though? These They're good at making these characters feel uniquely different. Like, Bro, we should have got Scarlet Witch, and they should have dropped that around WandaVision. That, I, I can't we argue We should have got the Winter Soldier or um, Falcon. Falcon would have been cool. Like right now, that should have been, been hot. Falcon like, why aren't they? Hot. Why aren't they thinking this out? You know, what I, I mean? that's that's what I was trying to get out that last show because it's like they're not aligning these releases with what's out right now. Because for sure, like if they were to release a Falcon and Winter Soldier movie or a uh, character, right? If they have Falcon and Winter Soldier in this game, I'm sure these numbers that they're they're getting 500, 2500 would definitely skyrocket. People want to play with these characters because they're in these TV shows. WandaVision. Yeah. Imagine playing with WandaVision and Vision in Marvel Avengers. Yeah. Imagine those two characters. Like for sure, they would have had a bigger uh, player increase. But I don't know. I, don't know I think that's a little ambitious. I think you get to pick one I, from each of the shows. I'm just either one. I'm just saying, if they would have had one of the characters from these new shows, I'm sure like their player count or their yeah, base dude. would have absolutely. Blew up. Because you just watch an episode and you're like, oh man, this is really cool. I don't want it to end. And then all of a sudden, you can jump into a game with it. You know? Yeah. It's I, like uh, Fortnite with Mandalorian. When they did the Mando, when they added Mando into it, you know Mando, 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 Mando. <laughs> you know the way. Yeah, that guy. That way. Yeah, nailed it. That's uh, the guy. That's the guy I'm talking about. Okay. He was in Fortnite. Yeah. They added all the Marvel characters to Fortnite. The, yeah, the, the skins. Well, he's not Marvel. Oh, well, yeah. But yeah, they added. <laughs> that's the point. <laughs> Mando. Mando's back. Can all we right. get a Mando count up, chat? <laughs> How many times I said Mando in the last minute? Oh, uh, okay. That's what's going on here. <laughs> I'm like, where are we going with this? <laughs> okay. Uh, well, I don't know if I'm going to hop into this. I'm going to keep it a buck. I mean, I'll hop in it with you, Adrian, if you want to hop in it. I'll test it. I'll test the waters. My Iron Man still fly. Oh, Devil Tube in the, the Twitch chat is saying, uh, I still don't play Mar I still won't play Marvel's Avengers no matter what character they add. Interesting. That's... That means you just don't believe in this game. There's no save in this game. And I feel like this game just started. No, which... that's, I think that's unfair to say. Because it, it didn't just start. I feel like this is, it's getting, this is a comeback story. You know what I mean? And not that the, the, it was bad. You know what I mean? Yeah. In the, in the beginning, it's just the end game wasn't there. And now this is their time to get that end game there. 
Are you tired of hearing games with comeback stories? Is that like something you want to consistently talk about as years to come? I mean, I'm not saying like that's the thing that happens often, but we had like a No Man's Sky, like Cyberpunk, we had Anthem, we uh, Avengers, like uh, I think Fallout. I'm even I think I'm indifferent to it. I don't care if Rainbow it happens Six. or if it doesn't happen. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like obviously, if it's like a game that I care about, I'll care. But like with Avengers, it's like it wasn't bad. Like the experience I got wasn't bad. It just wasn't. You know, hours and it wasn't a hundred and something hours like I got now. Valheim, you know, was it sixty dollars worth? Um, for the story, yeah, I'd say for the story alone, yeah. Okay, okay. Like, I mean, I would pay that much for a story game anyway. And I, I'm not. I agree. That's a good. That's an arguable point. Yeah. So I mean, that that, that that's kind of where I land on it. So cool. I get to jump back in and I get to play other characters, or I get to go back and play uh, Captain America. Which God, he feels so good. You know what I mean? Captain America's your guy. Yeah, I think. No, you were a Thor guy, I thought. No. Was it you? No. I do like Thor, though. He, he, he plays good. But it's interesting, Devil <laughs> Tube, that you don't want to try it out at all. What about for 20 bucks, Devil Tube? 20 bucks. It's 40 bucks. What, what, what if it was 20? What if they dropped it down 20? Would you get into it? Just for shits and giggles. Play with WandaVision when she's in the game or something. They're not going to do it. If they didn't do it now, they're not. <sighs> and that's probably why he's not going to buy the game. Let's get into the next piece of news. Uh... Oh, this game, right? Scarlet Nexus. I talked about this before. Oh, um, I think 2019, around summertime. All right, look, he already knows what time it is. This is the anime light game, uh, Scarlet Nexus, that I talked about. Looks super good. It played with shapes, and um, there was a bunch of different like graphical. I, I don't even think, I don't remember everything I talked about it, but it got a release date. All right, it's coming Woo! June 25th, 2021. Yes. Um, and it also has a release date of an anime adaptation as well, which, you know, I'm all in. You all right? Every time there's a game and they have an anime adaptation, it's fire. All right? It's fire. It, it don't miss. I think Persona had it. Final Fantasy had it. I think even Dragon Ball Z had it for a couple games. They're all fire. You know why? Because it's so spontaneous that there's just a lot of production value in it. And it's so on point with the game because obviously it's hand in hand that it's like, I can get I can get behind this. I can get behind this. Can you play this trailer real quick, Adrian? Because, uh, you know, to those who really like this game, play this type of game, right? It has a little bit of Just story. You don't have to play the audio. Let's get this over with already. But, uh, uh, ah, look at, look at, oh. Did he come back out of it? Okay, look, see. I'm just so disinterested in anime. <laughs> what? <laughs> like, I, I don't what? think there's anything that could be less appealing to me than anime. I'm just being 100% honest. Uh, it looks cool, no. though. I do like the art style. Yeah. And it, style. it doesn't look like RPG, so I do like that it is kind of like action. No, but this was the game where they had, like, I think, random, like, objects that had, like, legs. So, like, you have, like, a vase that has, like, feet, and they'd be walking around. I think that was this game. I'm excited for this. I was, I'm excited for this just like I was excited for Genshin Impact, which I played a lot of. I still need to get back into it. Been playing a little bit of different games, but you know, Genshin Impact is fire. I'm sure this is gonna be just as fire. It looks good. This looks so good. Double if Tube you says, says it doesn't look good. You're lying. <laughs> Double Tube says, "LOL, I love how Flowers is into it and Cheeks is." I mean, that's that's this right? Let's play everything. <laughs> He's gonna pull up his nerd fucking shit that I'm like, all right about. I've seen it. You've seen it. Then I'll talk it. about Valheim and Crash Bandicoot for an hour. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's it completes us. All right. Uh, you guys suck. <laughs> no, I mean, it is, uh, like I said, not my type of game, which people are used to be saying at this point. Yeah. Um, but I, like I said, I'm not tapped into this type of game or the anime verse or whatever. And I, I just like seeing you excited. You know what I mean? I'm more excited for the anime. Is it like anime cutscenes? No, it's actually like an anime adaptation with like I don't know if it's gonna be the same exact story set. They haven't given too much information as oh. far as like how they're gonna tell it. So it, the this is a game that's being adapted into an anime or an so anime. So the game is game? Scarlet Nexus, but they're making an anime adaptation of But this hasn't even come out as the the game. Exactly. So I'm why the fuck would I wanna show about a game that I don't even know is good? Listen to yourself. <laughs> Look, you know just you're not even part of the culture. Look, this game <laughs> I don't know much about the game. I can't promise you the game is going to be good, but the story could be good. And if it could, if it is good, then the anime would do a better job of telling you that story than the, the game would because you'd be more likely to watch this anime than you would to play this game. 
Are, is it because Compa Andrea's not here? You're bringing the fake hype for everything? No. I'm I'm generally going to play this game. Like this, <laughs> That's real. I'm going to play this. You excited for the show? Or the game that you have? I'm more excited for the anime because I just, I'm just excited for anime. But... And, you know, the game I got to pay 60 bucks for, whereas the anime, I might just be able... I think it's streaming on Funimation, which was, you know, been bought by Crunchyroll. So it might just pop up on Crunchyroll, which means I don't have to pay anything extra to see this. So, boom, bada, bing. See how I did that for you real quick? You're not even hyped for it. Okay. No, All I right. mean, I'm, I, 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 <laughs> yeah. I, I can fake it for you if you like. <laughs> yeah, fake it. Sorry. But turn it on. Yes! I can't on camera. this game. Yeah, you know they're making a show of this? Is that your best compo impression? I'm stoked. No, this is not my compo impression. Oh, well, who's that then? My my compo impression is Bad News Bears. Very excited. <laughs> I can't wait. I'm going to buy this. And then, I, and then don't buy it. Uh, whatever, man. <laughs> whatever, man. Let's get into the next piece of news then. Sony announced the new PS5 studio, Haven Entertainment, as this. an independent studio founded by industry veteran Jade Raymond who had previously led Google Stadia in-house developers until it was recently shuttered. Which is funny, because that's literally what the article wrote, and I thought that was hilarious, because whoever wrote that ain't shit, because that just happened. Um, <clears throat> and talking about it's recently shuttered, like everyone was praying on Google Stadia to fall. Uh, let me get back into the article. No, but everyone saw it coming. You know what I mean? Yeah. Nobody was praying on it, but everybody, you know, it's going to happen. Everyone was just waiting, just kicking their feet up. That's crazy. Uh, uh, this is a quote coming from Jade Raymond herself. Uh, it's time for us to refocus on games in all caps, which, <laughs> once again, it's hilarious, right? Shot <laughs> across the bow at fucking stadium. <laughs> you know dude. what I mean? It's it's funny, once again. Uh, in a place where we can practice our crafts without any barriers or impediments, uh, Raymond wrote, we want to create worlds where players can escape, have fun, express themselves, and find community. She's just... Uh, we want to pour our passion into a project. We want to make something wondrous for people to experience because we believe in the power of games to bring joy to people's lives. And Sony does too. Their commitment to ex- excellence. Okay, obviously the rest is kind of a little pandery. Like she's uh, happy to work with she Sony. She just keeps throwing games into this. Yeah, but she's like jabbing. I, I, you didn't read the end of the quote where she just she just goes games, 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 games. She just says it. Yeah. Like a bunch of times, just to rub it in a state of space. <laughs> I, I'd be pissed too. I mean, you leave Ubisoft, you're a very high level uh, Ubisoft, you know. Oh, employee. she did come from Ubisoft, huh? Yeah. Like she helped create like pretty much every big Ubisoft yeah, so she's game. worked on Assassin's Creed, I've seen, uh, Watch Dogs. Um, I think she had a couple hand, a hand in a lot of other games as well. Yeah. I mean, she was one of the high level people at Ubisoft. Mm, and then resume. you leave and you go to Stadia and thinking like this is going to be the next big thing. And they're going to, oh, they're going to invest so much into games. And then a year later, or two or three years later, that they haven't launched a game for one of their studios and they go, hey, we're closing this. Yeah. We're closing up shop. You know what I mean? So I'd be pissed too. She's excited though to be a part of Sony because you know they're about games. Um, Xbox is making some moves. That's a different conversation though. But excited to be a part of Sony and uh, supposedly she's working or her studio is working on a new IP, which I don't know. Where we're gonna get any news from that. I wonder if it's gonna be using Unreal. I, I'm interested to see because she's been a part of a lot of these big name games. I bet you it's Gorilla's uh, Gorilla's uh, engine. Uh, I forgot what it was called, but the Frostbite. No, no, uh, Gorilla Games. Uh, it's basically an internal engine that a lot of the first party studios will use from Sony, and it was developed by Gorilla Games. Mm-hmm. So I bet you they're. I hope that they work on that engine because I, that engine is gorgeous. Like anything that comes out of that engine is gorgeous. I think God of War used that engine. That's interesting. So it, it's it's an internal thing where the, only the first party studios have access to it, um, and Jade Raymond. Like, this is such a big deal. Like, Sony doesn't really... Like, with them buying Insomniac Mm -hmm. and them buying or uh, starting this studio with Jade Raymond, it's huge. Because, to be honest, Sony's last acquisition of a studio was Media Molecule in, like, 2006. No, not 2006. Is Media Molecule a AAA studio, technically? Mm, Yeah. I mean, technically, it would be a AAA studio because it's it's, um, first-party studio to Sony. Yep, yep, yep. But... And like Little Big Planet, that's a triple A game, you know? Right. Um, but I, I, their last acquisition was, do, do you know? Uh, can, can you look that up when their Sony's last acquisition was? I think it was Media Molecule was the last one, and I think it was 2008, something like that. So, like, all this time, right, without actually buying studios, and all of a sudden Microsoft starts making moves, buying studios, buying developers, and then all of a sudden we get Insomniac, and then this back to back. This is a big deal. Like, we're about to get some good shit. Like, I'm excited to play the Xbox games, 
And I'm and see what comes of that. Like I can't wait for the new Halo. I can't not that I can't wait. Like oh, I'm such a big Halo fan, but I can't wait to see what it is. Like what this next gen like Xbox for because think about it, we haven't gotten great Xbox first party games in a while, and then that's just making Sony step up their game and be like, hey, like Insomniac's ours now. Like it's chess. We're seeing a live game of chess right now going around the board. Who do you think is coming up the top? Who's making the better moves? You believe? We'll see. Like th- that's what's so interesting about all this is is I really r- I mean it feels again, like they're playing two different games almost. Like, again, it's crazy. I'm no, but they're not. Like that's what that's they, why they I, aren't. Listen, but they are. That's what I thought too. That's what I thought too. And then last week's Bethesda news with them going like, "Hey, Bethesda is an exclusive." I was like, th- they're not playing the way I thought they were playing. <laughs> like I I thought they were playing for for hey, you can play our games everywhere. You know, I'm we're trying to get it more right. accessible to everybody. And then them saying that, which obviously that's like the move that's more traditional and like the no brainer move is make everything exclusive that you buy. But again, we we said this time and time again, Microsoft was playing a different game. It and is. then by the making them that exclusive. I feel like we're we're back on track in terms of like Microsoft's gonna be making a bunch of cool shit, Sony's gonna be making a bunch of cool shit, and it's like you're gonna have to have that console or a Games Pass on something. I, that's what I'm saying. It's like Microsoft was moving more towards this Game Pass, trying to get the Game Pass on everywhere the software. Yeah, but like think about it. Like I remember when we had this uh, discussion originally, it was um, it was. Oh, you know, we could see Bethesda, Fallout, things like that on PlayStation after they were purchased by Xbox. Yeah. Um, and then now it... I'm sorry. Adrian really threw me off there. I sent that text. Um, and then now we are going to be getting it to where it is exclusive. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, we, we, we were talking so much about, like, if there was a company to do buy, make this big of a purchase... And make the money by putting the games everywhere, make the money off software, and then just have it free on Games Pass. Mm -hmm. That would be Microsoft. Like, that, they would do that. And now that they're not doing that, I think it really is exclusive in Game Pass. Like, you're going to have to have something Microsoft to play Microsoft games. So do you... Which, again, was a completely different... Right, Adrian? That was a completely different conversation than than we were having a couple months ago. Yeah, definitely. It always felt like, you know, Microsoft was going to be open. They were, you know, everyone was thinking, you know, they're going to they're gonna put this on Game Pass and then they're going to bring it over to PlayStation and kind of, you know, rack it in both ways in terms of money. But no, they're definitely playing hardball a little bit now. I think they're kind of stepping up their game. Uh, it almost felt like they're being a little bit too open, you know? You know, for all your first party games are on... PC and Xbox now. I mean, I feel like with that being said, I feel like Sony is behind still. Like, I don't know if Sony have some ace in the hole, like way to just overcome what Xbox Game Pass is becoming. Because, like, how do you beat that? Like, having your games accessible everywhere. Like, what is like? How do you checkmate that? If this is a game of chess, what is the checkmate? The the checkmate is the quality of games. Like the checkmate is the the sheer quality of games that PlayStation's putting out. Whereas, yeah, you have Games Pass, but what are you going to play on it right now? Now, the checkmate to that checkmate it's is the future is going to be Xbox actually putting out really solid first party games. Like mm. that's that's the only way that Xbox wins this is, is if they really throw in everything behind really high quality like Halo comes out it's it's awesome. Uh, Bethesda has some great new exclusive games that really have a high bar for quality that has been lacking the past couple of years, if I'm being frank, other than Doom. Um, you know what you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but without that piece on the board, it really is just like cool, you there's this cool service, but then you're still gonna want a PlayStation because, you know, God of War, Ratchet and Clank, Last of Us, like you I I can go on and on and on about like the quality of games horizon zero dawn that that sony has yeah so until we have that other piece which is really exciting like we're coming up to a great couple years boys the next couple years uh with this this game sony and xbox is playing i'm not i'm not giving throwing the towel in on sony i'm not saying sony can't do it because like you said the the quality of games is definitely going to distinguish why the ps5 is going to be better than the xbox and vice versa but it's just in the long run, you know what I mean? If we're playing long run end game, I feel like Xbox has it. Xbox has it unless Sony's gearing up for another wave of maybe where the game industry is going to be in that future. Uh, you know what I mean? It's just like, 
because so, uh, Xbox is really making a move. Xbox just changed their Xbox Live tag to Xbox yeah. Network. Some hot scoops right here. Adrian uh, produced it and sent it us fresh off the presses. This was only like a couple hours ago. Yeah. Uh, Xbox just today uh, changed their name over to Xbox Live Network in order to distinguish between the Xbox Live uh, name and the Xbox Network for uh, obviously people who purchased the subscription, the Xbox Game Ultimate Pass. Uh, so you get the Xbox Live membership or xbox network membership now um you know to make it a little more integrated and more echo friendly uh it's xbox is setting up taking over it's it's crazy i don't know that's the thing is i really don't know if they're taking over but they are making some moves that is making sony boo and that's good competition's very good this is the this is yes, going to be a great time to be live true. because we're about to be getting awesome shit from both of them xbox network just sounds weird i don't know the xn hit me up on the xn dog XN, the PSN. You friends on the XN? XN. <laughs> I like that. I like that abbreviation. It actually does. Yeah, that actually does not. I feel like if you said that too fast in a conversation, people are like, what? What? What do you say? Huh? Are you, is that a word? It's what better than say? XBL. XBL. Yeah. But you knew what, what XBL that? was, though. PS Plus. If you, yeah. I mean, yeah. it's PSN. Oh, PSN. Yeah, PSN. Yeah, yeah, P- yeah. You're right. You're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And that had a chime. PSN does the yeah, nice little ring to XBL's it. XBL is fire, too. Which. They got rid of that branding real fast. PlayStation yeah. Network. PlayStation Plus now. PlayStation 3 era. <clears throat> Let's get into our sponsors, though. Uh, so this episode is brought to you by the Play Everything Store. Get the hottest merch from your favorite. I'm your favorite. Get the hottest merch from your boy. Uh, we got T-shirts. We got the hoodies. We got the mugs. We got the stickers. Um, right over on teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash play everything. Use the code invite only so you get that free shipping because it's fire. Come it and get it. Uh, like I said, hoodies, t-shirts, mugs, stickers. Scroll up a little bit. God damn, that hoodie's hot. Scroll, scroll Where can I get top, that hoodie? Top, to the top, Where can to I top? get that hoodie from? Uh, over on teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash play everything. That 90s themed hoodie right there, that complete consensual one. That shit's fire. So obnoxious. Like, it, people either absolutely love it or they absolutely hate it. Yeah. There's no in-between on that hoodie. Yeah. And I fall in the camp of absolutely love it. I love it. I definitely love it. You can wear a lot of different shoes with that. Uh, obviously, you can wear the black play everything hoodie. Definitely good choice as well. But um, <clears throat> everything here is honestly fire. Just go ahead. Go ahead. You pair links, right over at a... What, what? Sorry. Link's all in the bio as well. And... Real quick, I know you're about to close out the sponsorship, but if you want, if what merch would you want to see? You know what I mean? If you're out there and you're like, you're a fan of us, what merch would you buy? Let me know. Make sure to use that code. Invite only. Right over at teespring.com forward slash stores forward slash play everything. All right. We're done with that. Let's get into the next piece of news. News, news. Let me slide down on the dock. Venom, the movie. Let there be carnage. Release date's been pushed back. Uh, this is the bittersweet, it's good and the bad thing, because uh, the release date was confirmed recently over to on uh, June. Had a June confirmed release date, and now that you know coronavirus is you know slowly becoming a myth and a legend, um, you know people getting vaccines and such. Uh, I believe movie theaters are already starting to open up. Um, I think there's an AMC where I live in this area. That it's opened up. Check that out. Uh, but Venom is being pushed back over to September 17th. And I'm probably going to be up in there watching it. Are we still pretending like Venom was like an amazing movie? It, it was, was good. good. It was really good. It was solid. It was better than any DC movie. I'll give you that. <laughs> Zing. Yeah, it was you know solid. I, mean? uh, I believe Tom Hardy's still the, the lead. I give it like an eight and a half. Or maybe an eight. An eight and a half? That's pretty high. That's pretty I would high. say an eight. An uh, eight out of ten. I'd say a six and a half, seven being generous. No, I really enjoyed it. There's no way the movie theaters survive, right? They're already coming back. They're already coming back. Sure, they're coming back. How long are they going to be around? Uh, we're just shut down for a year. Once that vaccine hits. Marvel's going to save movie theaters personally. I think so. Disney. Double Tube says he Disney. cringed in some parts of the movie in the movie theater. It wasn't a perfect movie, all right? Good. But it was a Venom movie nonetheless. All it was right? good. Look, I know Tech Fever is defunct, but... As the advice I'd give on Tech Fever, buy yourself a nice little audio system. The future's going digital. You know what I mean? Invest now because movie theaters aren't going to be a thing and you're going to want to have that movie theater experience. Buy some nice towers. Buy a nice sound bar. You know what I mean? Get that movie theater experience. No, that was the point of the movie theaters. I could just pay 20 bucks. Yeah. And then have that. 20 bucks every time. And then now, 
I know, but then now that the, the towers you you're your talking house? about, that's like some that's some money. You know what I mean? That's money in the Buy bank. Buy some cheap towers. I don't gotta go big. I know, but, but then you I won't have, have the money quality. go big. What Dude, most most movie theaters are absolute dog shit anyway. Let's be real. Let's be real. The majority of movie theaters that you watch movies in, mm. dog shit. Now there are some good ones that you'll go to for like you know. Oh, I'm really excited for this. But for the majority, your local neighborhood fucking movie theaters, dog shit. And you I have think to drive the, farther. The big chains are pretty good. Dude, AMC uh, has Adobe Vision. Yes, exactly. that that not is, every AMC though. I believe almost every single one here. They have IMAX. Yeah, in the Bay IMAX. Area. Yeah. These were privileged, but even then, AMC, I got to drive fucking... 15 minutes? Okay, but even that, for the better one, <laughs> I have to drive 25 minutes. Oh, my goodness. Mikey has to drive wow. 25 minutes. Or, look, and then pay the another 20 bucks. People are so accustomed to being at home. Look, I'm just saying, I don't think movie <laughs> theaters are going to fucking do it. I, I think, think they, movie I think theaters they are definitely survive. can't. No, I definitely think they're going to survive. I mean, You're insane. Want to bet on it? I mean, this is gonna be a long-standing <laughs> bet, though. <laughs> We're really gonna be yeah, waiting. Yeah, like, we <laughs> gonna wait this one out. How, uh, how much? Nah, we're not gonna bet. Yeah, well, that's not, really, no that's not a real bet. That's not a real bet. I think movie theaters can pull out. Um, definitely. Damn, Devil Two fucking hates Venom. You know what I mean? And I kind of, I kind of respect it. <laughs> He's he says I felt embarrassed for this movie. <laughs> what was so embarrassing about the movie? The movie was good. It wasn't like it was the, a good movie. It was a solid. Yeah, the flow wasn't like the greatest. Uh, like I said, six and a half. Like it was entertaining. It was a sure fine movie. It was an absolute fine movie. I would say it was just as good as like an Aquaman. No, it was no, better. it was better than. It was Aquaman. better than. Let's Aquaman. be real. Yeah. Like I said, yeah. it was better than any garbage DC has put. Well, Wonder Woman was pretty good. The first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one's probably. I enjoyed the Aquaman. You guys suck, <laughs> except the end. The end of Aquaman. I don't know what the hell happened. But I, I like the cinematography. You know, that, that was it was. It was definitely filmed. shot better. It was, D- 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 or the DC movies are definitely shot better. Yeah, yeah. I would say it was M Night Shyamalan, right? That did uh, Aquaman. Mm-hmm. I don't know. <laughs> I'm not a fucking dork. Moving back over to a new topic, uh, PlayStation buys Evo Fighting Game Champion Series. Uh, and they announced some dates for the Evo tournaments. Do you know what Evo is, Mikey? Uh, it's the fighting game uh, tournament that they have every year. And yeah. for some reason, Sm- they still play Smash Brothers Melee. <laughs> yes. So that Smash is good. Yeah. Smash is good. I mean, they had a lot of... They have a lot of different Smashes. Had a lot of things in 2020 uh, Smash related. <clears throat> but uh, let me just get into the article. Sony has announced that it has acquired the Evo Championship Series, the world's largest fighting game tournament. Evo co-founder Tony and Tom, and Tom Cannon will remain Evo as or remain at Evo as key advisors, and Sony took the opportunity to announce the 2021 dates. Uh, this year, they're doing tournaments online. Which, why, why do these tournaments online? Um, you know, in August, August 6th to 8th, and 13th to the 15th, um, including games like Tekken, uh, Street Fighter, Mortal Kombat. You know, the game I'm the best at. Um, uh, and that's pretty much it on the news right there. It was a comment from uh, Nintendo uh, because they were asked that they were going to, you know, continue to work with Evo with uh, the Smash, and they said, you know, we'll look for opportunities. That's that's pretty much what they said uh, going forward with the on and on life, uh, offline tournaments. That's such a PR response for sure. Now, for sure. let me put on my tinfoil hat. What's for up? A second, you know What's what I mean? up? Hit me with him. So I see Sony buys this right, and my tinfoil hat, Sony pony hat goes PlayStation All Stars too. You know what I mean? Because they How? tried so hard to get this in Evo tournament, and it, it stuck for like a little bit. Oh no! So you think this is a ploy for so PlayStation? So this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna get an announcement for PlayStation All Stars two <laughs> this year. It's gonna happen. They're gonna announce it, and I'm gonna freak out. And I'm gonna be like, oh, oh, it's happening! It's happening! Look at Tech Boy go! Look at Knack! You know what I mean? <laughs> And I'm going to be all excited about it. And they're going to be like, Ann, it is going to premiere at the Evo tournament. And they're going to be playing it. And I'm going to be like, oh, oh, I'm so excited for this game. (laughs) And that is what's going to happen. So mark mark your hats right here. This is going to happen. All that just to get PlayStation All-Stars 2 out. Uh, if anyone could make it happen, honestly, I can see it being Sony. Put what if they make this PlayStation All Stars? I see it happening. Boot out uh, Smash, replace with PlayStation All Stars. No, they're not gonna boot it because then people would burn down the place. You know what I mean? It'd be riots. It'd they be just won't thing. let them in. All these fucking That's dorks will the... be marching down the street with their safe. Everyone knows about the Smash safe community, safe man. Smash. No, 
and they're going to burn it down, Molotov's going to be a bad scene. But what they will do is they'll either premiere it or debut it at an EVO tournament, or they'll announce it, and they'll be like, oh, and we're going to do this here. That's my tinfoil hat. Tinfoil hat off. Took it off. This is a cool announcement. <laughs> I'm happy for it. I'm happy to see like this is still going on. Um, I personally, you know, I'm into fighting games, and I like to watch like evil tournaments and fights. Honestly, it's like it's a big learning tool for me because I'm able to learn so much about the game, uh, the characters, depending on you know, and even the, the fighters, the play styles. Like everyone plays differently, so it's like a lot of learning curves you can have around evo and i have some friends that actually have competed in evo so it's cool to see them on stage and doing their thing sometime too so i don't know about this news devil tube bringing up the remember flowers is because sexual allegations against some of the people in smash community and that's why nintendo said that thing yeah. i have no idea i i so tuned out of this on yeah everything. so uh you know that's a different bag of worms but you know like he said with the sexual allegations in the smash community you know a lot of things happen wait wait what did nintendo do uh, in the community, like with the players, like there was like a bunch of allegations between other players making other players do. Yeah, but what did Nintendo say? Oh, they just said they look for opportunities as far as working with Evo and continuing like their their tournaments within oh, okay. Evo. They were like, we will just look for opportunities. We wish best of luck to the Evo advisors. Oh, That's all okay. Nintendo got said it, on, the, on the on so the topic. It, Smash isn't in Evo anymore. Uh, it's not confirmed. It's not confirmed, but it's not unconfirmed this either. This is interesting. I didn't know this part of the story. Yeah, that's that's the that's the Nintendo piece into it. That's why you said Smash is booted. Got it. Yeah, so tinfoil hat back on. Oh, Look, God. Sony saw the opportunity. <laughs> Smash is out. They're going to need a game to play. And what game is that going to be? Now PlayStation All-Stars 2. Ah, I was so excited. Well, the circle for Mikey. He just got it. Take the tinfoil hat off. That's you gotta keep it off so that it completes first time. I'll go back. This is a cool announcement. (laughs) All right, yeah. Um, I think I said what I had to say on that. Um, Road to Evo. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna ever compete in Evo. I don't have enough time. Coward. You know how much time you have to fucking play that game, whatever game it is. Coward. You can only play that game too. You can be king of the Black Dorks. No. You can be king of them. That's Sonic Fox. He got it. Look, you know. Sonic Fox got it. Yeah, I do know. Fuck you, he Sonic got Fox. It. We're coming for you. Nah, Sonic Fox My, my boy that can flowers is coming for you. No, all you need is a, what not, is it, a fursuit. Not for to walk me down. Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> let's get into the next piece of news. Uh, PlayStation VR 2. New controllers revealed. Um, Sony has provided the first look at the new controllers for the PSVR 2, uh, which combines the finger tracking with the PS5's haptic feedback and adaptive triggers. Uh, to provide a much deeper sense of presence and stronger feeling of immersion in VR. I am looking at these controllers, right? Adrian's going to bring it on the screen for you guys right now. And I'm looking at these controllers, and I'm like, I got boxing gloves on, right? Or I got like, I don't know what the fuck. I don't know what the hell. It's like I have a whole glove over my hand. Like, is this comfortable? Is that light? Um, This is a prototype version, of course. Uh, who's to say this is going to stick like this, but it's very interesting. It looks kind of Oculus-y, like they kind of like the Oculus top, but then they were like, nah, let's take it to the next level and let's just put it around your whole fucking hand and get the little uh, finger sensors. So the thing of that is supposed to sense where your finger is without you having to press a button um, because we have haptic feedback now, right? Uh, so that's, that's the idea with this controller going forward. I think this is going to be great and i don't think this control i think they should work on this design a little bit why but i i I don't know you haven't felt it i feel like the way that they designed it it really makes it feel balanced whereas yeah the oculus ones feels but what would you store this in your house like this is like a whole we're gonna store any of this fucking shit in your house i put my gonna fucking put your fucking future goggles on somewhere you were gonna store that well the goggles okay but, like, the controllers, like, why the goggles have to be, like, imagine in proportion to those those controllers, right? How big is the goggles? Look, storage, first of all, it's, like, two of those goggles combined, I bet you. That's fucking huge. Then you just have two separate pieces. Okay, so pieces. if like you're really that concerned about storage, I bet you, just speculation, there's going to be a storage solution for these. Just like there is for the Oculus. Where you can, like, set it up, you can... You know, get it all set up nicely. Yeah. Are you are you trying to poke at me? No, I'm just, I'm just saying. I'm just looking I'm at just the saying, design, if, bro. If your concern is storage, you think this I, is durable? Sure. I mean, I, I how does it feel? Like I'm excited to see how that feels. And it's interesting. How there's no like lights it? on them, so yeah. that makes me think that they're not going to use the PlayStation camera for these. I think there's going to be cameras on the headset. 
itself, just like Oculus. Which then makes me go back to my original point. Why the fuck does it still need a wire? Cool, it's only one wire. Great. But you could have done what the Oculus did. And on bigger games, you plug that bad boy in, plug into your PS5, and then you get the bigger games. But like the smaller stuff, you unplug and you have a completely wireless solution. I'm thinking back to that conversation we had earlier with, you know, how Xbox is going to, you know, they're doing their long game, their end game thing. Sony, in the back, they're going to put all their money into VR, maybe hop into the VR world and have those high running games on their hardware piece. Whereas like Xbox is going to then have to come in, try to create some type of VR because they've expanded with some, I think, uh, AR, right? Augmented uh, reality. Yeah, but that's not consumer level. They showed it like it was going to be, but it's not consumer level. It, like, you can't go out. Like, you have to be a, a big business to buy one of those. Yeah. Um, you don't see this going anywhere, though? No, I, I don't see this it going anywhere feature. for Xbox. I don't think they're interested. Um, mm. But I do think Sony, I just, it's such a missed opportunity because the fact that there are Drop no lights Oculus. make me think it is cameras around the actual, um, the headset itself. Which then just leads me to wonder, like, why the fuck wouldn't they just make it wireless and then the the, the plug-in option? But what if the goggles are just glasses? Like, do you remember how you have, like, 3D shades? Not going to happen. We're not there. <laughs> We're, you're living in fucking, uh, what's that Will Smith movie? I, Robot. You know what I mean? Why don't you believe in the future, Mikey? This no, I, it's just we're not there. Like, we're just not there. We're yet. not even getting these controllers no time soon. This is prototype. Cool. It's we coming. We all know it's coming. We could be there, though, next year. Yeah, next year. Glasses. It's not even that far away. It's not going to be glasses. We're not going to be there. Yeah, you're going to fucking eat your words when they come on stage and you're all like, new PlayStation VR. And he just slips his fucking bad boy glasses on. Fucking whips and then out he just his fucking, blacks out in the front. <laughs> he whips out his fucking boxing glove controllers. That'd he's be cool. playing like... It blacks out in the front, but there's like digital eyes in the front. Like it blacks out and then all of a sudden light, eyes glow up. You know what I mean? They're like they have like X's and O's, like marshmallow. And then they're like looking this way, uh, looking all be, a bunch of different ways. That'd be stupid. Adrian, tell me that wouldn't be cool. No, tell me that it's not a fucking cool idea. That'd be stupid. That has nothing to do with the power behind the VR. It's not gonna happen. You're living in fucking 2090. Look, drop drop a comment in the chat if y'all are excited for VR right I now. I am. That's not me not being excited for VR. You don't sound excited for VR. The future of VR. That's could me be. just saying fucking like glasses just, aren't gonna be I, happening anytime soon. No, I just feel like you're peeing on all my VR ideas right now. You're just peeing on all of them. You're spitting on my face, and I don't like it. I don't appreciate it. You hey, done, Adrian? You like VR? Look at this fuck just laying back. I don't know, he leaned all the way back. Fucking produce the show, you know what I mean? I'm talking to you. <laughs> what was the question? Oh, Jesus Christ. Are you excited for VR? For the PSP? Yeah, I am. I don't get why it would ever... I mean, if you think about it, if Oculus isn't there with the glasses, why would PlayStation be there? Like, because PlayStation's trying to be different. But they're going to have to be cheaper. With future tech? No. There's no way. We're talking about <laughs> the same PlayStation that was inventing the banana controller, so... Why couldn't they be glasses? Did they invent it or did they patent it? They patented the technology. Fuck, you suck. You suck. You suck and you suck. Uh, let's get to the next piece of news. Next piece of news. Uh, Sony's PS3 and PSP and Vita digital stores are totally closing for good this, su- this summer. Uh, so that means if you still have a PlayStation 3 or PSP or it's PS Vita, you're no longer able to buy games off the digital store. Or maybe even play them. I'm not sure if they're going to take you off of the grid entirely. <laughs> I'm mean, not sure. We, we talked about that before the show. What, uh, this is before the show. You think I was paying attention before the show? <laughs> yeah, you can't. So basically, from what Adrian was telling me, I wasn't briefed <laughs> on this. Uh, you won't be able to play your digital games after a certain point as well. That's so crazy. that's what's fucking nuts about this. Because, yeah, obviously, you're going to have to take it down eventually, right? Yeah. But if you bought digital games, you're fucked. Like, you're basically, you're, you have a brick in your house, and it's really not. So, and that's just where my mind went, where I, I said this before we, uh, before we started the show when I was talking with Adrian about it. Mm-hmm. So, when we have the PS6, there is a possibility of them being, like, later in the life side of the PS6 or the PS7 or whatever the fuck they call it, for them being like, oh, yeah, the PS5, uh, we're, you can't do this as well, right? We're going to shut down the store for the PS5, and we're going to shut down to where you can't play your digital games. I have a digital PS5. So then all of a sudden that really is just 
you're done. Uh, all of a sudden, it becomes <laughs> worthless. So I, where right now, it's like if I wanted a PS1, I could go on. There's people that sell PS1s, and I can buy a PS1, and I can have that retro thing, and I can play the, the original hardware, right? And some people are into it. And like I said, it's a very, 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 very niche amount of people that are like, oh, retro games, this, that, the other, right? Um, but just the fact that all of a sudden, as soon as they do that, your value drops to zero. Obviously, on the Vita and the PS3, uh, you can buy physical games and you can still play it, right? Right. But uh, on something like an all-digital hardware, you'd be fucked. Like, it all, I'm not fucked because, again, it's down the line, but all of a sudden, that really becomes, like, next to useless. So this foreshadowing? For like the future of games, like if you just if you don't keep up, it makes me nervous about digital. That's why I don't like digital. Like yeah. that's why I don't like digital things. I like buying my games digital. I like it too, but I don't like the idea of it where it's like it really they could not at mine. any point an EMP P can go off and I'm fucked. In the end, it's not mine. That's the the downside of digital. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> Pregnant pause right there. It is. I mean, it, it's it's it is kind of out, outstanding. Uh, Adrian, you uh, threw this into the news. You you got anything to say about it? You fuck. Uh, <laughs> I know. All silent over there. He was so like, oh, you didn't add this. Well, no. So I'm I'm gonna pull something up that I found on Twitter. Um, What's up? This is from a guy in What's I guess in, in the, the uh, trip? in the. You let me talk. Thank you. This is from the uh, someone in the PlayStation modding community. Um, so it's just essentially software or something, I guess, to have to having to do with the software. So it uses the PlayStation store to verify that you have those games, but since they're shutting that down, it's no longer, gonna, no longer going to be able to verify that. Um, so essentially it's like a ticking time bomb is what this guy says. I wonder if that has to do with the PlayStation. So this could be just a PS3 related issue then. Uh, PS4 as well. No, because they use a different PlayStation Store than the PS3 did, and it, it's just different architecturally mm. about how it like verifies things. Nah, that's not what this guy says. I'm not gonna lie, I'm just not tech savvy enough to understand the conversation. I know there's a lot. There's a couple of I lost the but uh, this is important, and uh, especially like I mean, th- this is coming down the pipe for P- uh, PS4. But uh, I, from my experience, it is a completely different store. Than what the PS3 uses, mm. like completely different. So on P- so here it is. So basically, this what this guy says is that it requires validation to reset. Um, once the CMOS battery dies, whatever that is, it'll die. So you won't be able to verify um, anything if the servers are down. And then it says on PS4, it's even worse because then you won't even be able to play disc-based games if that ever happens. If they shut down the <sighs> store on PS4, that's a good point. Mm. So not even your disc will work. Yeah. If that ever happens, that would be bad. I don't think I think PS4 will be supported for a lot longer than the PS3 was. Um, but the day that that happens, you're insane. You know how old the PS3 is? Uh, it's almost 20 years old. It's like 16, what? 16 years old. Four, yeah, it's close 15, to 20, 15, 16. That's close. Get your man. That's what I'm saying. Like, that shit's old. Like, PS4 was a super short life cycle compared to that. That's true. <laughs> We're already moving on. You, you can't even find a PS4 anywhere. All right. Well, that was the last piece of news we had for the show. Uh, let's get into some side topics. Side topic. Thank you, Adrian, because fucking Mikey sucks. Um, let's talk about um Falcon and Winter Soldier. Well, hold up, hold up. All right. Yep, yep. You gotta throw the spoilers. Spoiler look. warning. All if right. You didn't see it. I saved it for the last piece of the show because I wanted everyone to be here the whole show. But like, look, stay here. Just mute up. Yep. But just so. know if you didn't see. If you mute it, you'll see the spoiler thing go off, yeah. and then you can jump back in, and you can watch be a bunch of chuckleheads, and yeah. you can watch Play of the Week, which is coming after this. Yep. Yep. Right. yep. Spoiler going up in three, two, one. So talk to me. Talk to me. Talk to me. That first, the, okay. If you have it before right we away. even talk about the episode. I, I just want to talk about going forward into episode two mm-hmm. because did. Do you have any theories going to episode two? You didn't watch it, huh, Cheeks? Unfortunately not. I you suck. Ke- and I blame Kevin Quello. You so tweet it at kind of funny suck. Kevin and be like, fuck you, you're the reason. Please do this too. And like, if you're watching, listening, go, fuck you, you're the reason my kid at Cheeks Jr. <laughs> underscore Jr. didn't watch Falcon and the Leonard Soldier. Everyone, for this week's podcast. go over to Cheeks underscore Jr., right? Tweet at him. Tweet him a an emoji of a shopping cart because he's pushing it, all right? <laughs> <laughs> he needs to fucking watch this show because he's pushing it. All right. Um, but 
back into the uh, Falcon Men Soldiers um, conversation. Yep. I guess I'm speaking with Adrian now yep. because this motherfucker. Yeah. Uh, going into episode two, you you feel like where it was going? Where, where's this going? This so this like, story fuck? isn't an exactly an original story. It's been done in the comics before, so I kind of had an idea that it was coming. Um, this was in the comics. Yeah. So that guy you see at the end is the new Captain America, but in the comics he's known as U.S. Agent. He's um, known as U.S. Agent, that, so the that, fake Captain. He's like the new Captain America. While Captain America, they got right after he dies in Civil War, I think is okay. Yeah, okay. So in the in the comics, um, so this guy is Joseph Walker, I think is what his name is. Yeah. Um, he takes over. He takes a mantle. Um, and then eventually, um, either there's d- there's different comics, but eventually either Captain or not Captain America, sorry, um, Bucky or Falcon take up the mantle. Bucky or Falcon yeah. take up the mantle. I saw yeah. this online theory saying that uh, Bucky and Mantle or Bucky and Falcon <laughs> share the mantle. They combine I can, it. They, I, they morph into that. one like, like a joint. A yeah, like they split the shield, and one of them carries like half, and then like they throw it, and like it connects. <laughs> It's like cling, and it's a big ass fucking like it warps them together. <laughs> you know those uh, what was it the BFF necklaces where like one 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 parts like one half and then the other is the other half. Yeah, That's like Firestorm from DC, just like him. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know who that is. Oh well, yeah. is it a cheap uh, the no Firestorm? He was Tor- a um, the Human Torch. Is it's that like an old guy knockoff? and it's like a really young guy and they fused. So it's like he's super smart because he's old guy, but he's like super like youthful and like so agile. like a knockoff Hulk. No, he's he's no. a normal. All right. <laughs> anyway, um, <laughs> the 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 show. Yeah. There was something. The innuendos they they hit at the end. All right, because the beginning fire that fucking that, the right plane, away right it right away the plane scene the air battle i was like well this is better than iron man yeah, what the hell yeah. is going on he was all flying and shit he slipped through was guns good. was blazing mikey you missed out it, it, just keep talking it, it missed felt, out. You know, the right away it felt relieving to go from you know wandavision was good but it was kind of like a weird kind of like a psychological kind of show whereas this is your more typical marvel action you know yeah. so you want fighting more bad guys yeah i mean i don't i love wandavision but it's like you know it's nice to go back to it's that different. familiar yeah it, it is it's, it was different it so was that's yeah i appreciate about and it. and i loved it don't get me wrong I, it was an amazing show but it's you know this is marvel you know it's nice to see uh you know we're going to have you know action scenes you can have some you know some you know kicking badass villains up right. stuff like that so we still have more characters to be introduced definitely and they haven't even met yet. Yeah, they haven't met. Yeah, they haven't even met. But Sam knows of Bucky. You know, right? no, they met before. Um, they fought together in Civil War. But I mean, the therapist he was on the phone with, or he was in, he was in the, the scene. The therapist, she was like, "Oh, Sam's been hitting you up and ignoring him." Yeah. So it's like, I feel like in the next episode for sure they definitely. meet. Definitely. Um. Now, as what happens, I know we still like the U.S. agent dude, mm-hmm. right? They have to do something about him, right? And then, um. There's, I think there's a character named Zemo. Yep. Right? He's supposed to be the protagonist of yep. this? Antagonist. Antagonist. Yep. Uh, antagonist. He was, in, he was in Civil War as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Shut up. He, he, Shut up. <laughs> he was a bad guy in, in Civil War. He was a big bad kind of behind everything. Um, He doesn't like superheroes at all. He was all. in Civil War? Yeah. He yeah. was a Sokovian guy. We had guy. this conversation last week. We did. Yeah. He was a bad guy of Civil War. He's the dude who's about to blow his brains out, and Black Panther stops him from blowing his brains out. Yeah. Oh, that's Zemo. That's, that's Zemo. Zemo. Yeah. Oh shit. Yeah. Okay. And then, so in the comics, he wears he wears a purple like mask, and, and yeah, that's yeah, what yeah. he's gonna wear. And a lot of people are saying he's he got that idea for that because of Thanos, because it, it kind of looks like Thanos's chin if you see the mask. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. It has like those weird lines. Anyways, um, yeah. So he's a big bad of this movie. I think he's in charge of that group that the one of the soldiers is tracking down you know early in the yeah when they like robbed the bank or whatever yeah i think he's behind that group if i'm not mistaken yeah that's good my big question about this series and i'm sure everyone's going to be looking for this answer as the episodes come out is this is all post in game this is supposed to tie into the original you know phase four yep so granted i'm sure like they haven't i obviously identify the time frame of like when WandaVision happened as opposed to this, but it's this like... This is six months after Endgame. This is six months after mm-hmm. Endgame? How yeah. far was WandaVision? Do you remember? I, I think it was right around the same time. If Look, I'm it was two weeks after. It was. Yeah, it was you're two right, weeks you're because right, that's right. when um, Vision, he had came back and he was talking about that with Wanda. So it's six months after. So do these guys know about the WandaVision story? You know what I mean? It's like, how are we going to tie this in slowly into what we already know? I I, th- I think, you'll, I mean, it's Marvel, so you'll see that slowly unfold. I mean, they always, they, they're always they not going to tie it in to something unless there's a reason to. I mean, that's true. Yeah. It's like you a, think this my, ties into a movie? Definitely. Definitely. I, you know, Whose I, movie? 
I'm thinking the next Captain America movie. I think I definitely there's no way they don't make another Captain America movie. And I think this leads into No. Maybe not, you know, maybe no. not directly, but I think you're you're definitely gonna see I who feel like that's a reach. Whoever ends up becoming because you're either it's gonna be one person or two people, you're gonna have someone be Captain America by the end of this show. And I think that person at the end of that show is going to get their own movie. I mean, it'd be, it'd be dumb not to. I mean, obviously, Disney's is all about making money, right? No. It might not be right away. It might be because we're in phase four. It might be in phase five. It's going to be Bucky. I, I, no, I think it's going to be Falcon. No, it's going to be Bucky. You know, as much the as reason, I want The reason to, I say that, right? You didn't watch friend. it. No, no, no. The reason I say Bucky is because... No, no, no. I'm not even saying off the show. I'm just saying in general, like, logistically, what makes sense. He has super strength and all okay. that. Uh no no yeah tinfoil hat put the tinfoil you. hat on tinfoil you tinfoil hat on thank you tinfoil hat time Mike Doherty um the reason it's gonna be Bucky right <laughs> is because think about it just like the look like the look of like Captain America you can't have him have fucking have wings and it makes most sense to establish Falcon as its like own like like superhero superhero movie he's gonna get his own like thing right mm-hmm. and whereas like Bucky is kind of like an uninteresting character generally to be honest I mean like and to see him one he's his best friend he has the most Captain America tie in I'd say right to just the look itself just yeah. the metal arm and the shield like you can make that like him kind of wear the Captain America suit like I could see them it's no longer um, what's his fuck I don't even know his superhero name who Winter Soldier yeah that's, yeah that's it uh, so instead of it being like Winter Soldier which is kind of like a fucking throw like Falcon that's like a superhero name Winter Soldier is gonna be like whatever he, you're gonna see him be Captain America like he's gonna take up the mantle of Captain America and it, it just look wise in terms of like not having wings and being its own thing y- you can adapt him more into a Captain America than you can a Falcon because I Falcon I feel so. like stands alone more as its own thing and you can make it more of like this is a Falcon movie whereas like yeah. With Bucky Barnes, it's gonna become like he's the Captain America, and it's gonna be like Captain America and Falcon. The I only reason I don't get that, I, I don't, right? Yeah. Am I, does that not make sense though? It, no. By itself, it does. But the yeah. only thing stopping that theory is that they've kind of portrayed this entire story as you know, you yeah. know Falcon kind of deciding if he's worth that mantle, and all of a sudden have them. Oh no, wait, no, it's actually you know Winter Soldier, Soldier Bucky Barnes. That would be, you know, that would be, I mean, it wouldn't be surprising because Marvel does tend to do that. But, like, all the trailers show, you know, you know, um, Falcon training to throw that shield, try, trying to take up, take down bad guys with that shield. They kind of portray that entire story about Captain Mer- or him becoming Captain America or not. I believe, because the way they've portrayed the character so far, it's like Bucky is setting up to be this fucking mass support character. And it's like Falcon is like this underdog character who's obviously working his way up to become this Captain America. I obviously with Marvel, you can go either way. You know, obviously Bucky could become uh, a Captain America, but I don't know. And I don't know if this was this is another thing that added to the, the first episode for me, because as a black man, when he said he didn't want the fucking shield, I was like, bro, what are you doing? What are you doing? And then the salt on top when it was like this this U.S. agent guy in the end, mm-hmm. I was like, oh no, they not another white guy. What is this? So I, I mean, and it's not that it's, it's about racial diversity in the in the show, but at the same time, you know what I mean? It, it, based off of twenty twenty, you know, twenty twenty one, I felt a little like into it as far as uh, my emotions straight that way as far as like him being black. I was like, oh. Come on, but you know that's just me just you know, I, watching this. And I get that, and I can see Falcon being like, don't get me wrong, I can see Falcon just like Devil Tube says, I can see it happening uh, both ways. And he said my way I, again. I don't read the the comments that like. And that's the thing. He comments said, that happens. He said it happens exactly. where it's Bucky, right? But, and I can see him going Falcon, but I feel like it would do the character more justice to make Falcon like the the next like thing. Like that's like the you can really develop him that way. Whereas I feel like. Bucky is such a throwaway fucking character where you can then give him that Captain America mantle and like it gives him more weight and you can develop him that way. Whereas I feel like Falcon, I feel like it it standalone is its own thing. And I feel like you can get more justice that way than being like, oh, you know, he's going to be Captain America. Whereas I feel like Bucky kind of is like fucking potato salad and just like, eh. I ever checked this out. I just had a brain blast. So we lost Iron Man, right? So we're not going to get any more in the air shit. So you know for sure, 
I feel like Falcon's going to be more prominent as a character because they didn't just do all that for nothing. Like, we're sure going to see more of that, like, air combat scene, which you have to go back in and read that. All right, watch that, Cheeks, because that shit was good. Like, that's going to change the game, especially on the OLED. It was like the first, yeah, the first 10 minutes. Yeah, it's like, bam, crazy, crazy. Badass uh, fight. So scene. it's like, they're going to use, I feel like they're going to use the opportunity as Falcon as a character to do more scenes like that, not only in the show, but possibly in the movies. It's to whoever gets the movie. Um, but it's like, you get two for one. Like, you get a new Iron Man and you get a new Captain America. Exactly. So, it will, and that's what I'm saying is like, that new Iron Man would be like, like Falcon. Nobody has to take up the Iron Man mantle, you know what I mean? Right. Like in terms of like I am Iron Man, like because obviously Falcon, like I said, stands alone more as a character as his own thing. Whereas I feel like Bucky, you can kind of meld him into Captain America, take up that mantle, and then Falcon could be like the new Iron Man. But to be honest, I feel like that that's gonna be its own thing, which I think is fucking dope. Hmm. That's my thoughts on it. I wanted to make an, I had another comment on Bucky. It, uh, it his, makes it makes sense for Bucky because fuck me, huh? yeah. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, what is this? Your show or something? Yeah, something like that. Shut Sorry. up, peasant. Go ahead. What do you want to say? Because no, I, I, I was going to say something different on a different topic. But if you guys oh, you said you were going to talk about no, Bucky. No, 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 no. Don't do this. All right. Anyways, I was going to say it makes sense for Bucky because he does have that super strength as well because he did receive a similar kind of super strength serum that Captain America did. That's why he was able to survive that fall in the first movie and he's super strong and stuff. And he does have that metal arm and he's, what, 100 years old just like captain america yeah, was it makes the most sense it, it makes it does make it i don't know about the most sense but it's still, it's like a 50 50 you know i feel i feel like it could go either way I, I don't know i feel like bucky is too mentally shot to be captain america like he's still gearing up to make amends right that's yeah, a new thing that's and true. with that going forward i feel like his whole character like killing the old guy's son and then coming back and trying to be like cool with the, like what is that like what that, get the fuck out of here bucky like what are you doing that's that that low key pissed me off when I was watching it. I was like, he kills this guy's son, has nightmares about killing this guy's son, goes to the dad. The dad's all like, I'm so hurt because I don't know how my son died, and he's all like, Hey, we can hang out. No, no, no. If Bucky is the next Captain America, he's gonna be a Nazi. Or he was a Nazi, right? Uh, he, Think about it. Hell Hydra. Think about it. Hell, Hydra. All right. Uh, well, go ahead. And get rid of the spoilers for me right there, because that is the show. Um, we don't have. A, do we have a play of the week this week? You said play of the week. We do got a play of the week this week. We got a play of the week from Jay Kills, sent from us last week. What you got, Jay? What you got? What? What is this? And, call it, and, what is this? and listen, you fucks. All right, last week I said we're going to get rid of this and nobody sends it in. We're playing this because last week we said we're going to play it. And nobody still fucking sent in a play a week. So apparently you want, all want play a week to fucking die. So mess- message received. If we don't get a fucking play of the week this week, it's fucking dead. So just count on that. Jay kills for the win right here. What do you got for us? Sliding down? Turn around? Are safe, bro? Oh, we'll I don't want that pipe cleaner. What are we doing? I believe in Jesus. Oh, oh there's Compa. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> See, Warzone. I feel like that's just me. I don't never. I never know what's happening. Was there a drone above? That was the. That was the play. No. no. J kills. You're banned. You're banned. Ban him. Never. Ban him, Adrian. Hey, get get this off of the screen. He's not even in the no. fucking chat. Ban him. That was not a play. That was Compa Andreas saying no. a fucking dumb joke. I can't believe we played play of the week's canceled. I feel like I got. We should have screened that. A hundred percent. We should have screened. I feel like that. I just got <laughs> rip rolled. Never gonna give, never gonna give, give you up. I just feel like I got Rick rolled. Right canceled. Now. He can't. J kills. Wow. Single handedly canceled play of the week. Wow. And I bet he's good. I bet he's raw. I hear great things about J kills. You know what I mean? Everybody says he's so nice, and I bet you he is. He's a great person. I bet you he is. I don't know. Canceled play of the week. My opinion has changed. Canceled. My opinion has definitely changed. Well, everybody, Wait. I appreciate oh, what. Condisley Wisley said, how do we send in Play of the Week? You send Play of the Week over on Twitter.com. You can send it in at PE underscore productions. Tweet it at us. Or you can send it to playeverythingpodcasts at gmail.com. You can send it in that way as well. Whatever way is easier for you. Yes, sir. That's how you can send it. Or you can send it to either one of us individually if you got our handles, which you can follow me at that kid flowers. Follow him at cheeks underscore junior. You can't follow Adrian. Um... But like I said, that's the, that's the show for the week. I appreciate you guys all for watching. Um, Cheeks, you got anything you want to plug? 
Uh, yeah, so actually, I mean, not really. Tech Fever, a little defunct right now. Uh, so it will come back. It will come back. So not doing Tech Fever right now. So uh, don't worry about that. Just forget about that. But Twitter, you can follow me at Cheeks underscore Junior. You can follow me. Uh, Instagram at Cheeks underscore Junior. Pretty much Ooh. everywhere you can follow me at Cheeks underscore Junior. Oh, nice. my thing. I appreciate you uh, for following me there. And Adrian, when Sean closes the show, I don't want you to stop the stream. Just, just a heads up there. Okay. We're gonna watch something after this. Wait, what was that? Real, we're gonna we're gonna watch something after this. So, so oh, he's gonna end, end the show. show, and we're not gonna end the stream, and we're gonna watch something. And all of you should stay tuned because you're gonna want to see it. Don't no, panic, don't worry. Adrian. You already have it pulled up. Don't panic. All right. Um. Well, uh, Adrian, do you have anything you want to plug today? Uh, I want to go ahead and plug my uh, photography page on Instagram again. What I'm, is it? It is Valadez dot photography. I'm almost Valdez. almost yeah Valadez V A L A D E Z B A L A D E Z. I got to remember that second A. Yeah. Um, I'm almost done editing those photos from Yosemite. Um, I had like a hundred, narrowed it down to like fifteen. Now I got it down to like five or six. So takes a little <laughs> bit of time, but for sure, uh, wait, wait for the. <laughs> All right. Well, I appreciate. Follow him. Support people text. that support us. Go Sorry. follow Adrian. I was just reading Tom of Vlogs' comment. Fucking Poor Tom J Kills. Don't actually ban- unban J Kills. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't unban J Kills. No, no un- unban him. Unban him. Unban him. <laughs> but it's go- not his fault. Compa hyped it up. <laughs> go ahead and uh, follow that page. Those, uh, yeah, How yeah, awkward those would that have been if Compa was here and <laughs> we watched that with him? <laughs> <laughs> the blip. I think he already knew. No, no. He no, had no. to. He, he said, no, next week, next week. We're going to watch it next no. week. He, he did not. He, did, he thought he was so funny. Yeah. And that's the thing. And that's why I'm okay with shitting on it because it's a Compa Andreas sign thing where he was like, I'm so funny in this. When really, I just want to see how Jay, good Jay Kills is at Call of Duty. I want to see how fucking funny you know, Compa Andreas is. It wasn't Andreas even is. funny. He's not even that funny. It that's what I'm saying. It wasn't funny. No, Swinging Compa Andreas his... wasn't funny. Nothing about Jay Kills. Again, I, I co-signed Jay Kills. He's a great dude. Fuck Compa Andreas. You know what I mean? I don't know. That clip, <laughs> it's hard to speak on anyone's behalf based off that clip. You know, that's yeah. all I'm saying. That was um, terrible. <laughs> You guys can follow me over at that kid flowers Twitter social media. Honestly, just type it in anywhere you are, and you might find me. Um, also, <laughs> don't forget about the merch. Teespring.com forward slash store forward slash play everything. It's hot. It's real hot. Go ahead, check that out. Um, that's pretty much it. I appreciate you guys for watching once again. Uh, we will be back next week. We we'll talk some more at Captain Falcon because you know it's a weekly thing. <laughs> Captain Falcon. <laughs> Why are you all giggly right now? Hi. I'm over there giggling and shit. Don't be giggling. I'm trying to close my show. <sighs> All right. Uh, back to where I was saying. Um, we watching Captain Falcon next week. Um, I didn't get a chance to watch the Snyder cut. I don't know if you guys <laughs> watched <Yeah>. it. Snyder. <laughs> Snyder. Captain Falcon. Snyder. Next week we will be discussing Captain Falcon. No, no, but you know what? We didn't get to talk about Snyder Cut. It's actually from. I didn't watch it. I heard it's a lot better than it. People, you guys were talking about at least. I heard it was good. I didn't watch it yet though, so uh, we may or may not talk about that. They might make uh, his next movies as well after how good this one turned out. For our movie, Uh, but you know all that for next week. We'll see you guys then. Appreciate you guys for watching. We out of here.